Hello everyone. We are doing a reading on the full moon in Capricorn, which occurs July 21st. Um, I do feel this is going to be an important moon for some reason. I just got that gut feeling and this is an intuitive general reading and um, I will be doing, you know, a quick uh, general intuitive reading for each sign starting from Aries going through Pisces. Now, um, for some of you that know, maybe some don't, I've broken my right shoulder and my right arm and I've had um, surgery on my arm too. So hopefully I'm on the road to recovery, doing therapy, physical therapy for my shoulder. It's been a hell of a ride. <laughs> I would so appreciate it if someone would put the timestamps for each sign. It is very difficult for me. You know, I do, it's writing with my left hand and, and uh, keeping track of the timestamps. I would so certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. It is important to, um, th these are for the sun signs, but to um, listen to your sun sign, your moon sign, and also your rising. Because rising, I think, is very important for some reason, especially uh, for this moon for some reason. And also, um, if you do have a strong Capricorn um, stellum or something in your natal chart um, or in your transitioning charts or for the ones who do astrology and keep up with that or your solar return chart um, to listen to Capricorn as well. All right. So um, to begin, we're going to start with Aries. Aries is right here. Okay. So what we see for Aries here is some negativity definitely created blocks, okay? Now, this could be an ongoing situation that that has been happening since um, the past full moon in Capricorn. I feel there's a connection, okay? There could have been someone in your life maybe that um, has been going through a hard time. Maybe you have or some negativity. I want to say also... You could be quite accident prone um, because you could be distracted somehow. Um, there's a karmic energy here too and a connection from the uh, past full moon in Capricorn to this full moon. So I do want to say um, that energy does apply. For some of you, there is an ending, sudden endings and new beginnings and you're kind of refreshing and starting things over. There could be a change in dynamic here. And this could be in a family unit. This can be also with um, uh, career options. For some of you, this is a changing of the guard. You're, uh, you're, you're ending the career, uh, starting over. Uh, so, you know, I'm seeing a lot of um, different ways that this can happen as well. Um, you could have been still jaded about something and you're still trying to kind of like get over it or then you're kind of reminiscing a good time that you had. This could be childhood connections, uh, people from the past, maybe that you also have not even um, talked to. I don't know. But there is some familiarity to this moon from the last one to this one and something from the past. You may be reminiscing a lot. Okay. Um, and I do feel that somehow there could be a reconnection with your childhood, um, people from the past. And this can also indicate a reconciliation is um, in order, um, bygones be bygones, so to speak. And maybe you've been really trying hard to get something going and you just feel it's just a little negative still or there's more to apply to it. Maybe you feel you didn't get your just desserts for something. So, but time will heal all is what I'm feeling here as well. There is a fresh start and a start over. For some of you, maybe going back to another job or picking up a hobby or a latent talent as well. So there is creativity here and endings, okay? So you've got some in important endings, but it's bringing back some things too that um, will help you prosper somehow. 
Maybe it's an old way that you dealt with a situation or someone from the past maybe reminds you of something that you can do. So there is some kind of change of the guard and dynamics here, okay? All right, so that wraps it up for, um, well, Aries also, this is following your soul's, uh, soul's purpose, okay? So you could be kind of, maybe the experiences you're going through, there is a soul connection here. And your soul path may be even, um, soul path driven journey may be um, in effect here. So you may be seeing that as well. All right. So that wraps it up for um, Aries. Now we're going to move on to Taurus. And Taurus, you're right here. You have the stone of, which I call Saturn or one step at a time. Okay. Um, lots of options and opinions around you as well. Lots of ideas, lots of thoughts. Um, this is a time where maybe you will come up with a revolutionary idea. Um, maybe some messages you may be um, coming through, um, hearing from a child, some surprises may be coming through. And this is a time where it could be a shocking surprise. It could be something that's unusual. All right. There's a flair of doing things differently, doing things unusual. There could be a distance between you and someone as well. These are lessons well learned too. So you've learned some lessons. All right. So this is um, wisdom, applying these lessons and teaching them and teaching others somehow as well. So you could be inspiring others with the difficulties that you went through, um, the fears maybe that you held. Maybe somebody's going to come to you and say, hey, I want to start doing this or just say you're a musician and how many years it took you to uh, learn to play the violin, what's in uh, incorporated like to play, you know, the notes and blah, blah, blah. So I'm giving you an example and you could be inspiring someone as well. You could be also reevaluating some things too. This is a busy time. You need to um, also contemplate. There's a sense of renewal as well. And this is a time of separating from some negativity. Okay. Um, your words are very much heard. So your manifestation, your affirmations need to be very clear. What is it that you want as well? Take time to smell the roses is what I'm feeling. One step at a time. And I see that you will be rewarded for some of the good deeds or some of the good um, hard work that you did put in. So I do feel that. I do see there is a revolutionary type of thinking and your inner child is coming through and you are going to start something. Some of you are starting a brand new business, a brand new venture, an idea. You may be also being able to reach out to, uh, you, to the youth around you. Um, you may be um, influencing others as well. So I do feel that slow and steady also wins the race. You have lots. You're chock full of wisdom from all the lessons you've learned too. All right. New revolutionary ideas may be coming through for you as well. So I definitely feel that energy. All right. Now we're going to move on to Gemini. And Gemini, you're right here, which is interesting for Gemini because Gemini, there is a repeat here. Okay, you definitely have some kind of a repeat. Um, there is communications. There is your thoughts. There is um, new ways of thinking. And then it could be muddled thinking at times. Um, new beginnings here. Wrapping up a cycle. There's healing. But then there is out with the old, in with the new. You do have the stone here of health and well-being and lifestyle direction and change. But there's almost a repeat that's going to kind of um, ask you to change some things around. You do have choices. There is a sense of breaking free and freedom. So there could be something that's maybe rehashed from the last full moon to this full moon. And now is your opportunity not to give up and to get things done. There is inner work here to be done. All right. Um, definitely it's going to bring you some kind of a celebration of some sorts. New friendships, um, the community around you. There is some happiness here too. For some reason, you could be dealing with the uh, sign of cancer. I don't know. I'm picking up a cancer could be in play here. This is also teamwork. Sharing ideas. It's going to create some kind of completion, but it's a repeat. Okay, it's affecting how 
your life is um, um, moving along, what adjustments you need to make, a whole new change in direction with, um, you know, your life path is possible here. Watching the health and well-being. So this is almost a repeat here. But there, if you've been taking care of others, if you've been making so many adjustments, you're going to kind of conclude this. All right? So definitely standing your ground, not giving up, perseverance, making adjustments. You're going to come to, to some final completion and celebration is what I'm picking up here as well. Some of you may be needing to take care of some health issues or someone else's health issues, but there is a strong healing energy here as well. And your words have a lot of power and so do your thoughts. Your thoughts could become things, okay? All right, so now we're going to be moving on to cancer. Oh, also Gemini, before that, I just want to say there's a sense of freedom and you have that choice. Freedom is a choice. Okay. All right. Moving on to cancer. You have the stone of high creativity, fiery passion, energy. It's on the side, um, the heart, and it's, it's, it's spiritual too. So this is putting your passions, your goals, and all into spiritual spirituality and, you know, all coming from the soul, I want to say. Soulmates. Um, other people may be giving you advice, um, helping you out. It's a meeting of the minds. It's a good time to find, to solidify more um, of your bonds and your relationships. Make it or break it. The ones that are important to you. The dynamics of your relationships and your partnerships is definitely changing. People you see one-on-one -on -one every day is what I'm feeling here as well. Um, there's more passion, desire to um, create a, a stronger connection. Some of you may be going into a partnership. This could be in a love relationship too. You're kind of like working together, partnering up, doing things together. Talks are going to be um, important. There's love and care around you. There's a clearing of the negative. Um, this is your passions, your desires here too. The magic within you. Own your own power now. You have the ability to transform things. To um, do. There's a changing of the guard here. It's like your affirmations that really something that you deeply desired should be coming through. Soulmate connections here. People will be more understanding of you as well. So I do feel that other people could be very helpful at this time too. I do feel here also could be dealing with a cancer. Um, when you take time to contemplate and meditate, reevaluate things, things are going to work out for you. Help will come to you if you look for it or just ask for it. So I'm seeing that energy as well. Um, I do feel that, you know, you're kind of tired of a situation. You are still recapping what's been maybe transformed or changed in your life. And the universe has something in the works for you that you do not know yet. And I'm going to tell you that you're going to be counting your blessings. Definitely, I feel you're going to be now counting your blessings. You are definitely coming to a strong purge. And the connections that you've just yearned or wanted are coming through. There is a strong um, bonding, um, taking your relationship to another level, eliminating anything that's distracting. So definitely seeing that energy. Own your power. Definitely feeling that. Okay? All right. So that concludes it for um, cancer. Some of you, oh, cancer. Also, some of you may be... Um, I want to say your relationship, it's like there is, if you have a current relationship, it could get stronger. Um, you've been yearning that maybe, okay? Talks are going to be important. Um, for others of you, this is like um, love coming into your life. That is really a soul, co a soul commitment, and it may accelerate quickly to a marriage, okay? So seeing that. All right, so now we're going to move on to Leo. Leo, you are right here. Okay, so. Leo, this is a busy time for you. Rewards will be coming in with patience. Okay, so I'm seeing that kind of energy. Some of you may take on a new study. You may have a scientific breakthrough. This is scientific or something that you're analyzing. For some of you, this could be 
um, I want to say getting a job as a uh, strategist or st uh, taking statistics or um, permit, working for government, um, working for a village, working for a city. I do see that energy for some of you. So there could be some changes there as well. Um, helping out others. So I do feel that too. Um, this is like a strong energy of taking on a new project, okay? Um, new opportunities will be opening up for you. You have a potential of new beginnings that you can create yourself and that may be offered to you as well. Um, definitely a new journey here too. You may have this sudden urge to create something new in your life. You want to shake things up. Maybe you want a new job. Um, you want um, a new lifestyle, okay? Um, new way to invest your money. So some of you will be doing a lot of like researching, analyzing, uh, very busy, but you're keeping, um, keeping these thoughts more to yourself because you're kind of like wanting to do things, um, seeing like where it's going to go first, but you may be asking a lot of questions, you know, trying to perfect something. So I do see that for some of you, remember it is intuitive reading. Um, your determination is going to be high. Um, it's like knowing where you're going and you will get there. You definitely are going to have this motivation and determination. Uh, for some of you, this is um, you also want to feel better. Maybe you'll start um, a gym membership. Maybe you'll jack up your workout. Uh, maybe you'll do a you know your whole um, nutrition, um, lifestyle routines, uh, focusing on your health, better mental, physical, and and um, emotional. Um, there's a it's like you're attracting newness in your life as well. Um, others may be inspired by you as well. So I do feel that it's like there is this huge determination within your soul to make more money, to um, research. Maybe uh, some of you are going to get some patent pending or a copyright or um, intellectual property that's going to be important. All right. So you definitely could be busy and um, you're keeping these things more to yourself because actually you will get ahead if you don't reveal everything that you're doing. Okay. Okay. So that energy is showing up for you and determination definitely is number one for you here as well. Don't be so busy though that you're not focusing, okay? So don't let distractions get in the way too because then you're going to have to make slight detours is what I'm feeling, okay? All right, so that wraps it up for Leo. Now we're going to move on to Virgo. Virgo, you are right here and we see some creativity, some thoughts, but not um, something still needs to be implemented. For some of you, this is your um, your home foundation, health, um, stability. So we are seeing that kind of energy as well. There are some kind of changes there, implementing something new. So definitely feeling that energy for you as well. Um, Virgo, this is a time to prepare. This is a time of, um, you know, slow and steady progress. Um, some of you are thinking that you could take something to another level. You want to build like an enterprise. Maybe you have a company now. You want to build a stronger enterprise. Maybe you want to buy franchises. Uh, maybe some of you want to, you know, buy like into Starbucks or something or a franchise. So I'm seeing something that you want to expand that too. For some of you, there could be important news coming from overseas for some reason is what I'm feeling as well here. This is a time where maybe you want to expand things, but you also want to play. You also want to take some time off and balance, you know, your, it's like you're trying to balance your leisure time with your work time. So, yeah, so seeing that kind of energy, it's like you're preparing uh, for some of you maybe to travel. I do see that. This is like maybe a fun trip or something exciting. Um, definitely high creativity here, too. <clears throat> you're kind of have this genius streak to you um, that I'm feeling here as well, okay? Um there's a situation that you're going to have to innovate, okay, and make some adjustments and be adaptable at the same time. And then things are going to come kind of, you know, your creative juices are going to flow through too. This is a time to pay attention to your health, the health of um, and stability. Um, and this could be of others around you as well. Maybe you kind of see things that's been happening and you're like, mm, maybe you should be more cautious or... Uh, look, you know, you're kind of seeing the signs or you're seeing a pattern going on and you're like, it, you're, you're, you're wise about it or you're going to take a situation and you're going to kind of innovate it, okay? Um, if you're more flexible and adaptable and um, you're tying up these loose ends too and prepare to move uh, forward in a creative way, you got it, okay? 
So this is a time of stabilizing some things in your life too. Okay. And this is like um, changing some things that you kind of felt were fun before or the change. there could be a change of dynamics between you and a child in your life. Um, but you know, this is like, you're still, you're letting, you're letting something go so you can move forward to something you've been kind of hanging on, but you're finding a, a different way of doing it and you're innovating it too. Okay. And this is going to kind of set you free and help, help you move forward somehow. Maybe you'll see like an opportunity to live in a different state or a different country or maybe a relocation. And then, um, you feel that's going to kind of blend with your work or your, um, your endeavors. So that's what we're seeing there. Okay. So Virgo, that was you. Now we're going to move on to Libra and Libra, you are here. All right. So Libra, what we're seeing here is you have a tower and that is your work career, um, or also your hobbies, desires, or the world around you. And there is a lot of options, but don't let anyone kind of, um, you know, it's like going down a rabbit hole. You have these ideas and that, and then others may kind of say, ah, no, you can't do that. Or, or, or you're kind of, there's some fear involved with it as well. All right. There is some negativity here and um, there are some changes going on. Um, I do feel that you may be dealing with some people who have been a little bit deceptive. Um, it's like, you know, you want to, okay, maybe you want to move, for example, and your family doesn't like what you, where you're moving, or um, you have ideas to renovate and your partner doesn't like um, your ideas, or there is some changes even going on with home. Um, you're more open to new people and new experiences and something's kind of, uh, you're feeling like something's holding you back. There is going to be some endings. All right. So I do see that. I do feel for some of you, you may feel a little bit, um, that some people are deceiving you or they're like, um, trying to get away with something. So I do feel that I do feel here that you are going to also be more to yourself, busy, with some ideas too, but don't go, it can open up a rabbit hole too. So be careful of that because you do have um, um, that stone there. So there is some changes going on. For some of you, this is definitely a quick relocation. All right. Um, and on again, off again type of relationship may be ending as well. All right. This could be unexpected visitors coming. Um, and there is, they, they could have some things like, uh, alter, ulterior motive. Just say someone says, Hey, can I stay at your place for like three, two, three days? And they want to end up staying there longer than, you know, they should. So there is that possibility as well. So this is a time also of, um, checking out what's going on too. This is a time where you need to retreat a little. If you've been trying to make something happen. You need to go more with the flow. So there's a lesson in about stop trying to make something happen, especially if it's not bearing fruit or, um, you know, it's like there's a sense of um, trying to um, adapt to some kind of the changes. I think you just need to retreat for a moment as well. Stop trying to make something happen. Give it to the universe, especially if it's a, a situation beyond your control. And there are some endings coming up too. And this is like getting some kind of knowledge or learning some spiritual messages that others are not going to understand. It's just going to be something that you understand. So stop trying to make something happen and let the universe kind of um, just um, do its work here. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, you are right here. All right. Scorpio, home, foundation. Not everything is um, you know, black or white look in between is what I'm feeling here too. You have some choices and decisions to make too. Communications are powerful now too. There could be also, um, people that are helpful around you. Um, this is sometimes help from someone you grew up with or a sibling is coming into focus here is what I'm feeling. You may have this urge to do something different. Just say you've always been into um, marketing or something, for example. Now, all of a sudden, you want to go into culinary arts or something. So you may have these other interests or you want to create something new. Um, maybe this is just a way you want to communicate more. Maybe you're more serious about making money. 
in creative sense. Um, so I do feel that energy too. This is um, a time where you're going to put your diligence and passions into something. You may start something new, but you're going to be going through an apprenticeship moment, okay? Um, so you're going to have to master some kind of skill here as well. You could be very career focused now too, or this is also prep for school. Maybe you want to start um, being more serious with um, college or going back to college, or maybe you're not like finalizing a major. So I do feel that something tells me that the hard work you put in, money is going to come in, okay? And it may be coming in a way that you didn't expect, okay? So I do feel that. This is a time where Scorpio needs to know that there is going to be a breakthrough of some kind of stagnancy. This could be something that also started from the last full moon in Capricorn. And now, again, it's now you're going to final change, um, a, some kind of a breakthrough. But have the courage to ask for what you want. You know, sometimes we think, oh, we're going to be denied. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. You know, if you ask 10 people, at least maybe one is going to be willing to listen to you at least, okay? And then uh, that one's going to lead you to someone who's going to help you with that. So if you ask for what you want and have the courage to do so, you will get what you want is what I'm feeling here, okay? So there is some kind of a breakthrough definitely coming up here as well, okay? All right, so that uh, concludes it for Scorpio. Now we're going to move on to Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, you are right here. All right, Sagittarius. Um, for some of you, this is travel and emotional journey, okay? Um, and definitely seeing here that there has been something negative. Also for you, something that started or that's been an issue from um, the full moon in Capricorn to this full moon again, um, is coming to a conclusion. Some things are on divine timing. A lot of Sagittarius are going to have to make some important decisions, okay? You may have to kind of really, really make some quick decisions because they could be urgent or they could be very important ones too. Um, this is a time where you're asked to be more productive. So if you've been procrastinating things or whatever it is, it's time to be more productive. Now, some of you maybe had some kind of, um, I want to say either a handicap or something where you needed some help. Now it's a time where um, you are kind of relieved from that. Now you're, you need to be more self-sufficient is what I'm feeling as well. There is a lot of fast moving energy coming at you a lot. Okay. Some things are still undefined timing and definitely some choices and decisions is what I'm feeling you're going to have to make. Okay. Um, this is planning. Um, know that you're making a lot of progress, okay? You're making these decisions. There is going to be some important discoveries, even emotional, like validations in between, um, emotional discoveries, epiphanies. So I do see that kind of energy too. Some of you may be leaving your home. You may start traveling. Maybe you'll make some plans to travel overseas is what I'm feeling as well. Um, definitely travel plans, moving ahead, some uh, moving along, um, Moving on, uh, moving along um, with confidence too. Um, so I do feel that too. For some of you, maybe a company's relocating. Maybe this is um, a decision to make in your business where it's going to earn you some more money. Um, there could be opportunities of your income uh, to to um, increase. So yeah, but it may be in a different location. So you know, there's a lot of that um, energy here as well. Um, you can do it. Okay. I do see that, um, to get what you want and to clear off some, a negative cycle here is definitely, you need to be productive. There's this energy of just go ahead and just do it. You may do a lot of talking, but you're not doing exactly the walking. Now it's asking you to start putting in the walk. Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead and just do it is what I'm picking up here. And that's going to bring you things that you do want and a lot of progress, and some discoveries as well. And it will eliminate a negative cycle. It's finally going to complete. You got some fast-moving energy, very fast-moving energy. This could be even significant news coming from overseas or from somewhere you didn't expect. So I do feel that energy as well, okay? All right, that was Sagittarius. Now we're moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn, here you are right here. Capricorn, this moon is a blue moon. This is your second full moon this year. So it is quite significant. Um, you definitely have a connection from your last full moon. Now, it's almost like a second chance as well. 
Um, so this is a time where it's asking you, okay, so if things didn't work out or plans that you had or whatever's been going on, now it's time to eliminate what worked, what didn't. Okay, starting off fresh, rethinking some things is, is what I'm picking up here. It's important for you to take authority. Some of you lacked patience, and now you're going to have to go back and redo some things, okay? Because slow and steady won the race, right? Now, if you've been, uh, maybe you have to uh, go and redo some steps in some certain situation. For others of you, you still have to wait a little. Um, it's your hard work and your productivity is going to pay off. Some of you could be a little bit impatient um, and you're waiting or they could be even more of a delay with something because maybe the universe wants to know if you really want something. This could be even a wish fulfillment. Um, I do feel here also a wish fulfillment. It, it's, it, is, it is in the reverse and this is also the wish stone. So it is indicating here that things take time. Okay. I do feel here um, you may have some conflict with others. Okay. Okay. People or situations may be leaving your life, but this is a time where you're going to be eliminating things. It's asking you to do a purge as well. Um, now is a time to see who was on your side, who has been around. Elimination of abusive relationships. Um, this is a time of conflict disagreements, okay? So I do feel that, but you will have the upper hand. It is asking you, and the universe will help you dissolve and purge things as well. But now is the time for you to pick and choose because it's asking you to take more authority. Because deep down, you're going to know what is best for you. So this is where people have been turning your heads. Maybe you want to start something from the other uh, full moon or you want to eliminate something or whatever you were doing. Someone may have tried to talk you out of it or you were confused. Now is the time to re rethink some things, rethink your steps, implement what you want, Take authority because you know what is absolutely best for you and you need to do it. But you need to take authority now. You can't have others turn your head and spin and um, delay because the stones you have is your wish fulfillment, your goals, it's there. But it's almost like you've been held back. So making some adjustments is going to help a, a, a new perspective, but definitely taking authority and taking the steps that you need to take because you definitely, there's that message that you I'm going to repeat. You know definitely what is best for you, but you also have to be patient. You can't go from zero to a hundred or, or go z uh, from a hundred back to zero. You still need to be patient. For some of you, something that has been slower, just when you do start taking these steps, all of a sudden, when you least expect it, it's going to start accelerating and you get where you want, Okay. But you need to take authority. You know um, what is best for you. That is the important message. Important message for you with some change going on. Okay, now um, we're moving on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you are right here. You have the stone of some new um, desire, wish. But there is like a barrier to get through from what I'm feeling here as well. Um, and you have to kind of get through that barrier um, there is new ideas here too. There is some change definitely with work, career, or um, something there um, that is um, going to change in the future for you and coming to your empowerment. So definitely seeing that energy here. Some important communication may come through. Okay? Something may be made more clear to you now. For some of you, you may be hearing news of somebody um, changing things or needing surgery. I feel some of you may um, go through a surge, uh, th uh, go through surgery or surgical process, um, or some kind of surgery. Okay, cutting things out. It, um, this is a time of truth and integrity is important. You may communicate with someone who you haven't heard from in a long time. You may get some. Definitely some breakthroughs, some new ideas. For some of you, you may resolve one conflict, but then you have a new conflict that's coming through, okay? Um, so this is the time with truth, with communications to make sure that something could be resolved is what I'm picking up here. Something's been left lingering is what I want to say. Okay, uh, definitely you got some endings here too. Love 
support, family, happiness is in focus. That is one thing. There could be a strong reunion of people, more than one person from your past, somehow related connections. Maybe you're divorced and this could be an ex, but you have children together, so you're still kind of considering you have, you have that connection. Your passion is going to be important too. And following your passion. Though you may have some obstacles here too. But you can overcome them. Once you follow your passions. Once you implement those new ideas. You'll, you'll have a breakthrough. And the, this is the birth of something new. And there is going to be some significant changes in your career coming up. Move forward with confidence. Okay? Secrets may be revealed. All right. Now we're going to move on to Pisces. Pisces, you're right here. You have a new cycle. Growth. Rewards. Your resolve is huge. Pisces, you may be carrying burdens, extra responsibilities. This is also to me starting from the old full moon, uh, the first full moon in Capricorn to this one. Now something is going to end. You've taken on a burden. You've taken on more responsibilities, okay? And some of you will be rewarded for it. Now you're simplifying some things. But there is change, adjustments, things beyond your control at times. Now, there could be some conflicts with others as well, okay? Not everybody's going to be on the same page here. There can be some tension. So I do feel that energy. But it's brief and passing. You may have obstacles to get through but you will overcome them. This is a major wish coming in. You're completing something. Something new and fresh is coming in. You've got a simpler path ahead of you. Okay? So there is some change. You've been trying to get used to some kind of a new way of living, a new normal um, that did come with some kind of extra responsibility. These could have been even ideas or just a situation that you've been going through. This could have been with a group of people as well. This could be also your hopes and wishes that you had. You had to make some kind of adjustments, okay? But your resolve is going to be strong now. This is completing something. A whole new cycle is starting up here. And you will overcome any obstacles with your resolve now too, Okay? So definitely seeing that energy. You have a powerful new beginning starting. All right? And then you're going to feel like everything's like, now this is my new normal. Okay? All right. Well, that concludes the reading for the full moon in Capricorn. I'd appreciate anyone who will write the timestamps down for me. And yeah, I think this is a significant game changer moon. <laughs> All right, everyone. Bye for now.